Velva capped off one of the best seasons in program history last year with a state title. There's reason to believe this year's team is even better. They haven't scored less than 40 points in a game, haven't allowed more than 20. That equates to another deep run in the postseason. Velva's grass field turned to a tundra, then a swamp, so they were in Minot welcoming Shiloh. First quarter, Velva quarterback Ben Shep hands off to Hank Bodine. He slams through for six. Aggies went up 8 nothing. Skyhawks ball inside the 15-yard line. Carter Seifert handed off to Isaac Emmel, plus the point after attempt, makes it a one-point game. Both teams ran the ball early on. Then coach Matt Weidler flipped it. Shep takes a shot to Reggie Bruner. He floors the gas pedal after making the grab. He's going to score a 72-yard touchdown. He had three receiving scores today. Really good offense and better defense is going to win you a football game. Aggies are on to the state semifinals. They'll play the winner of this one. Kildare is at Trinity. Trinity in the red zone here for the second time this game. Jace Kovash will look to do damage. He rolls to his right, fires to Jeremiah Jillick, who reels it in. Trinity gets on the board first. Second quarter now. Cowboys looking to answer back. This whole drive was full of quarterback keepers. This one results in six points. Tucker Bomback, he ties this game at seven points. Trinity hoping to take the lead before halftime. Kovash to pass. He's looking for Nicholas Sobolik in the end zone. This one's going to be picked off by Hayden Thormalin. Kildare's red zone defense comes up big again. This one was close until the final two minutes when Trinity struck twice. They'll play in Velva next Saturday. South Border has never been to the semifinal round in the co-op's 15-plus year history. On the other sideline today was Hedinger County, a team that hasn't lost since September 8th against this same South Border team. In Wishick today, you can probably guess, it was cold and it was windy. South Border scored the first time it had the football. We've said this kid's name a lot on this program. Why not again? Berkeley, France, scores on a keeper. Two-pointer puts the Mustangs up eight. Hedinger County gets the ball back and just runs it down South Border's throat. On a fourth and goal at the one, Jaron Rafferty lowers the shoulder. South Border led eight to six after the first quarter to the second quarter. Would you believe me if I said France scored on another keeper? Here's your proof. He catches the corner of the end zone. Stangs go up 16 to 6, two minutes into the frame. Huskies are going to get it back. A big pass play sets him up in South Border territory, finishes it off with a Rhett Miller score. They go blow for blow the entire way, but it's the Mustangs that keep their season alive. In West Hope, the Sioux hosts Grant County Flasher on a beautifully clear grass field. Just before the half, West Hope Jr. Walker Broughton reversed to Trayton Lehman. He's going to head for the edge, fights through the score. He goes for a swim in the snow, 46 0 at half. A lot of push ups for these cheerleaders today. Five plays into the third quarter. Broughton, he takes the snap, hands it off to Brody Nordmark, makes it six more for the Sioux. Sioux were on top of everything today. The Storm looking to try to get something going in the passing game. He's going to throw it up as Javin Freeze, but Walker Broughton. It's his second interception of the day that comes down with it. The Sioux scored the game's first 52 points. They move on to the nine man's final four. The state cross country meet was moved to the one day event because of the snow this week. All four races were today in the Class B races. Brent Hansen wins her third consecutive cross country title. Jonah Njos wins the boys title for Bowman County. Class A followed late in the afternoon. It was all East individual winners. Owen Sondag of Fargo North, Jocelyn Schiller of Red River. Let's run through the top 10 team results, starting with the Class A girls, VHS. They continue to dominate. They score a 54. Williston is the only other Class A girls team in double digits. The Bismarck Demons make it a sweep with the boys team also winning. All five scorers finished in the top 15. To the Class B girls, Bowman County takes first place with a 35. The top three teams ran away with the competition. And the Bulldog boys make it a sweep in both classes. They score a 36, 22 better than Kindred. In volleyball, Dickinson sweeps, so do the Majets. Saints over the Braves and Holsteins over the Raiders. Chance Schillinger and Umary football knew it would be tough this year and were going in looking to find any positives. Today, they had a chance to find that positive. Minot State is 1-7, Umary is 0-8. The trophy is a representation of the big lake between Minot and Bismarck. We start in the second quarter, Minot State up 7-3. Amir Bankhead, this is his longest rush of the day that helped him secure a 79-yard day. This was his score. This covers 53 yards. Marauders take a lead. They were up 17-7 at the half. Third quarter, 
Here's a pick six. It's Jacob Petrie picking off DeAndre, uh, Dondre Fair. Takes it 32 yards. Marauders were up 20 points. Minot State did not fold, though. Beavers, Sam uh, Buchanan, Lumbers, 18 yards. The first two touchdowns for the Beavers, and it's a six-point Mary lead. Key play late in the fourth, fourth and two. Minot's Jaden Sparrow rolls. He look, goes for the tie, but it's going to be incomplete. The final was 27 to 23. Mary wins its first under Shan Schillinger. Back out to the Queen City. Blue Hawks look to stay perfect in North Star play. Waldorf was at the BAC. Here's the Blue Hawks on their opening drive after forcing a Waldorf fumble. Braden Zuroff finds a seam through the middle, cruises in for the opening touchdown. On their following drive, the Blue Hawks would strike again. Who says you can't throw the ball when it's this cold out? Will Madler puts it on a plate for Noah Sickler, who takes it all the way to the house. Two Western North Dakota kids putting on a show this year. Dickinson State would add a third with just over a minute into halftime. Madler fires over the middle. Cameron Shepard on the receiving end. They'd score 41 and pitch a shutout, the team's seventh straight win. Fighting Hawks top winless Indiana State in overtime, 36 to 33. Tommy Schuster throws four touchdowns. North Dakota State wins its second straight. That's two straight single-digit defensive efforts to get on the green side of their conference record. A bit of Blue Hawk basketball today. The women move to 2-0. Men fall to 1-1. Bobcats on the ice finish a sweep of Aberdeen. Hawks tie with the Mavericks up in Grand Forks. And you marry doubles up the number three team in the country. That's all for sports. We'll be right back.